Carl Casper's Undertaker Dragster coming up next on Monster Hobbies. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hello once again, boils and ghouls, and tonight we have a very special Monster Hobbies What's in the Box Halloween Edition. Okay, Monster Edition. <laughs> anyway, it is Carl Casper's Undertaker Dragster by Polar Lights. And this is an older kit, but as you can see, the box art has a Grim Reaper as well as a Dracula character. So without further ado, I'll let us go down to our bench and see what's in the box. And now for a scream on the drag strip, we have the Carl Caspers Undertaker Dragster from Polar Lights. And this is a creepy dragster. Very scary. Okay, so we'll open up the box lid. And I will take these pieces out. And the first thing we will see is the instruction sheet. Now this could be a very interesting dragster model, actually, if you have the um, AMT, uh, what do you call them? Munster's Dragster, Dragula's Coach, or the Dragula and the Coach, and the, mm. <laughs> the Grandpa Munster's car. So anyway, sorry for the big delay, as my brain tried to engage the clutch and slipped many times. Okay, so we have the Carl Casper's Undertaker Dragster. And as you can see, I bought this at Phoenix Comics, January 10th, 2004. This is like the same year that I opened my hobby shop for $9.95. <laughs> Won't be the same since. The Undertaker Dragster is a replica of America's 1963 National Sweepstakes Champion Show Dragster. The original Dragster was designed, created, and owned by famous custom car and rod builder Carl Casper. It was used as a show as well as competition dragster. Okay, so it tells you the best results on how to put this together. What's cool about this kit for monster fans is this again has of course your engine parts your chrome your frames lots of pieces to this and the big engine with the front blower supercharger on the front very very cool very nice now here's for you monster guys okay so you put that together and it has a key a wind-up key at the back which doesn't really do anything it's just for show but this is sort of like an ed roth thing where it's got the creepy hand and everything but now you get the dragster roof and the clear window and how to put on your the decals but then you get this nice base groovy base with the undertaker a bat a tombstone and a ghost so it has something for the monster figure as well and these are 125th scale monsters so without further ado let us look at the parts now you've got chrome right here lots of chrome and a decal sheet i really don't want to open this but <laughs> i guess i have to don't i i sort of committed myself to it so here we go opening up a kit that hopefully isn't like worth 300 dollars right now because it's ultra rare and some weird thing so <laughs> Okay, kissing my fortune goodbye. I shall now pull out the chrome pieces so that you can see what's in the box. And watch my videos where I can make a couple of pennies off each video because I am monetized. All right, anyway. So taking a look first at this decal sheet, we have, of course, the nameplate for the car. And you can put those on the sides of the car and you've got these neat little pinstriped freaky faces. Ooh. Ooh. And those eyeballs. Okay. And there's our chrome. So as you can see, there's quite a lot of nice detail. I will be reviewing Ed Roth kits in this as well, because these are all part of the art monster type 
pop culture hot rod scene that was really prevalent back in the 60s. And yeah, there's some really good parts. It's got, of course, a Chrysler style uh, Hemi heads in there. And then we have our nice spoke wire wheels. Front and back. Dropped axle. And of course the tube frame with the rails. And then if you look on this side, you've got the cool front and back chrome details. And these nice old, what were they, Kelsey Hayes wheels? You guys would know that better. If I goof up, write in the comments below. I appreciate you guys helping me with errors. And I also found the little clear part in that bag. That's for the roof. It's held up, nice condition, didn't get too scratched up. Now let's look at our not chrome plastic. As I open up the second $400 bag here, because this kit is so rare. Haha, <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> okay, anyway. I'll just open this right up. Quite the color. It almost looks like a glow in the dark, which I don't think it is though. It's a very bizarre cream color. All right, so I'll just move this out of the way. Okay, don't lose that part. All right, so first off, we have the tires. And as you can see, these are some pretty nice old vintage drag slicks. Real spongy rubber makes me almost think of uh, old Johan stuff. There is a divot in that tire though, unfortunately. But you just glue that on, on the bottom when you display your model. No, no, no. These are actually cheater slicks. They've got that groove down the center. That actually should be there. Um, it's so that you could ride it on the road. <laughs> and then look at these front tires. Holy smokes, they're really thin in there. But getting back to the rear tire, there is a, a white wall insert. And that would just drop in there, much like a monogram type of tire. And you gotta make sure you get the right side. There's these little dots on there they would go down so then you got the curve for the tire and there's what a white wall would look like with the insert and now what have we got here ha huh. okay these are little retaining washers for probably the front axle I'm not sure but look at this you may know this bat from his other appearances in the Aurora, <laughs> there, in the Aurora Dracula kit, and is in fact the same bat. So he would be quite a giant in 125th scale. Okay, next up we have the dashboard, and there isn't too much detail on this, but it would have an instrument cluster going right through. And here we have that interesting roof. And you can see the <coughs> tuck and roll on there. Nice to paint. Plastic seems <coughs> to be a good thickness. That would be your fiberglass body shell. And that piece. <laughs> I look in the instructions to figure out what that is. There's the other half of the body shell. And of course, once you put that together, And that's here, where the guy's going to sit, right between the rear wheels. Okay. And there's your interior bucket with the pleated, pleated upholstery. And, of course, a little seat down there with seat belts. It's quite an interesting thing to paint. And now... get into our base. So here are two tombstones. 
which go into this slot here. And I do believe the Undertaker would probably stand beside this. Or even the Grim Reaper. So it's nice that they got a front and back. It's probably the only Aurora tombstone that has a front and back to it. But there, that would go into there like that. For a neat little side display. And then we get to our main display here. And that is the base. And this, this could also make a nice base for some other model kits, like a little coffin show rod and those sort of things. And so, the people that would be standing on the base, of course, it's a Grim Reaper. And there's that hand that's supposed to be there for the gear shift. And a little head here. And two skulls. So for your monster fans, there's your monster guys. Now that head, of course, belongs to our Undertaker. Quite a lot of nice detail in that cape. And of course, that would go there. I suppose if you wanted to be annoying, you could put a skull head on there. Mm. But this is the real head there. So again, quite a fun kit. And that, my dear friends, boils and ghouls, shall take us to the end of our look at the Carl Casper Undertaker Dragster by Polar Lights. Well, I hope you enjoyed that episode of Monster Hobbies What's in the Box, where we got to look at the Carl Casper Undertaker Dragster by Polar Lights. And if you would like to make a contribution to our creepy crypt, Please do so by going to our YouTube homepage and look for the PayPal icon and then click there and you can make a donation. <laughs> Alright, and if you want to see some of our other unboxings, please check them out here, here, and here. And don't forget to like and subscribe and click the notifications so you get all our videos right here. And until next time, pleasant drag racing, screamy nightmares!